Hello and welcome back everyone. I've been uh, trying out this new mecha quite a lot. Mm, reached um, like rank 16 or something by now. And I have to be honest, I am struggling with it still. I've been having some good games, some bad games, um, but in general I do feel like it requires a lot of effort to get some something going with this mecha. And that is mostly because um, its abilities, actually all of its shooting abilities are tough to hit. Um, even its primary weapon, the, uh, the handgun, It has quite a lot of recoil, which is in itself fine, but then the bullets that do hit do quite, uh, quite little damage. So, yeah, so that feels a bit lacking, so I hope they will uh, improve that soon. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, bombard you with exploding bots. That's going for the kill. Mm -hmm. Let me quickly get my stuff here. This one. Let's take that one. I think like this could be really useful. Actually, you know what, for now, because we're still in the early game, I will take the exploding butts. So yeah, the primary weapon is already tough to hit because of the recoil, and when, once you hit, it does, I think, very little damage, especially against pilots. It's really to uh, hard to take down pilots with uh, Ak Akashik. Let's join the fun over here. Do some sniping, backstabbing. Where are you? Okay, I got you with the. Uh, someone got you with the bot. Mm -hmm. Let's be careful here to not draw too much attention. Mm -hmm. What is uh, a nice detail, by the way, is um, a regard not about Akashik, but more about this match, is that I just noticed that one of our players is an Alpha Knight. I think it was uh, Sora, number two. And um, they both have this symbol behind the name, so I'm guessing they're both in, uh, uh, in the same guild or something. Anyway, that's, that's like a fun little detail. I will get into Ash Akashik immediately and join the, up with them. So yeah, the primary weapon I think is hard to hit. Then we have the shield which is a refreshing take on the shield, uh, a shield mechanic. And I do appreciate that. Uh, but at the same time, it's um, hard to hit because first you have to block the attacks from the, frontal, uh, from the front and then you also have to make sure to hit uh, the person that attacks you with it. And then we have the dash. The dash itself is really good. And when you, oh, okay. When you dash into a mecha, it's amazing. Um, because then you stun them, and you immediately have a follow-up attack with this uh, spear in the in the that we have here in the left hand. Uh, and I mean th that's a very rewarding ability to land. But in all my games so far, it has been very rare that I managed to land it. No, 
I was nobody, which is a shame. And I do feel like once this mecha is in your face, like in melee range, let's say, it's super strong. But the problem is, um, no, not even super strong, then it's just strong. But the problem is, until you get there, all other mecha that I have jeweled so far with, uh, were able to wear me down before I even got close. Um, so, yeah, I feel like I really have to play it more like an assassin, where they don't know mm, where I am, where I'm coming from, and then mech up and then nuke them before them even having time to respond. Probably, and I haven't tried this yet, but probably this mecha is better with um, the pilot ability that decreases the cool uh, the cooldown of your uh, combat maneuvers, tactical skills. Um, oh, that's actually pretty good. Let's take that one. Mm -hmm. uh, let's use a cookie just because we can. And get closer to our team here because we're way too far away from them. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting that the coming week uh, this mecha will be buffed. Uh, I hope they will decrease the recoil on the primary weapon. I hope they make the shield uh, counterattack uh, have a bigger blast radius. And I hope they increase the radius uh, for hitting the stun. I think if all those things are being buffed, that would be great. And actually, I do think also the primary attack uh, can use a bit more damage because it feels overall a bit too lacking. Uh, this mecha and it is a really fun design I think it's a really fun take on a uh, different playstyle again that we didn't see yet so far because then we have we have the brawlers definitely but this one is even more close range than for example flamenco or an Arthur or Venturus uh, but it is lack lacking in all um, in all other aspects. Let's join up here. Okay, they did pretty well. I should be careful here to not be s destroyed. Let's see if we can. Uh okay, so we did manage to hit that one. Let's see. And the thing is, I have to get close. Oh, I did. S <laughs> if it wasn't killed by my allies, I would have. Uh nuked it with my uh, mm -hmm. let's just follow my team here and make sure that we take everyone down um, yeah take oh, core two I have not played yet played yet with core two I think that increases yeah that increases my shield which um, I think it's not that great. I would really love to uh, have core one. Core one is really good because of this. It, uh, as you can see, yeah. Oh yes, awesome. Let's take it and let's let them know that there's a core two. Oh, that's uh, our friend. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, let's go. Uh, just because of that floor over there, I didn't manage to hit the stun. Oh well, can happen. Let's heal up a little bit. Actually, let's go to the store um, quickly. Then take that and take that. And sure, also take that one. Mm 
You zoom in quickly and the big one. Let's rush a little bit towards our team. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also what could really help this mecha if, if they just increase the passive movement uh, movement speeds. Because it needs to be close. Why, why don't they make it just super fast? Like faster than all the other mecha. That would make sense. Mm, where did you... There. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's a lot of candy. I just... Uh, Use the minty boost again because the movement speed I think is helping us definitely. Um, I would love to land the stun at least once this video. <laughs> Just to demonstrate it. Now let's get out of here. Take a look over here. No, let's go for eye for an eye, because in general we do take quite some hits before we are close to the enemy. Oh. So our fire star is close. You know what would also help this mecha? If, the, if they would change the dash so that uh, so that you can still change the direction mid dash like uh, for example uh, Boltus or Neutron Star or even Jojo with its flying uh, can change the direction mid, uh, mid air I think that would really help with uh, hitting the stun that would be really good actually Nobody here on the edge. And my, uh, my teammates are chatting quite a lot. Uh, it's in Russian <laughs> and I can read it, but I don't understand it so well. So I'm not really sure what, uh, what they're talking about. I do see someone over here. Wait, where? Oh, right there. No. That's Michael. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I totally missed that person. Good job, though. Activate this one. Yeah, we did win, but I do feel like uh, I got carried there by my teammates. And I did not manage to um, showcase this mecha so much. I will try again. I might still upload this, but uh, I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Oh yeah, wait, let's take a look at the stats actually. Yeah, <laughs> 5,000 damage. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try again. See you all later. Goodbye.